Let's do some harvesting of our cassava leaves. My wife is going to be cooking with some cassava leaves and some lime leaves for a few of the Indonesian dishes. So let's get going. So generally for cassava, people tend to eat the roots uh, for various dishes, but for Indonesian cooking, we actually use these beautiful leaves. And we have several of these trees around our garden. Uh, so we're going to get few leaves from all of them. The nice things with cassava is that you can easily propagate them by taking the cuttings and then planting them in the soil and then they start to grow pretty quickly again. So for instance, I'll show you some of the cuttings we have. Here's another cutting. If you look at the cutting, it's quite small it's from a much bigger tree and we took the stem cutting we put it in the ground and it starts to grow as well so it's so easy to propagate it's amazing we'll take a couple of leaves from this one and the leaves are just so beautiful and nutritious for cooking and super tasty and tender once you have boiled them although it requires a good knowledge of how to prepare it because it is poisonous in fact if it's not cooked properly so advice against uh, <laughs> just preparing it and eating would suggest that you research a little bit how to prepare it um, because my wife has done it for quite a lot of long time she has a good idea how to go ahead with cooking it here's another big cassava tree we have here take some leaves from here so we generally try to take leaves from all of them a little bit from all of them instead from just one and that helps us to ensure that we have enough leaves for the entire season as we are going into our dry season now we want to make sure that we don't over harvest from a single tree so it's starting to get quite a good amount already these are big nice leaves on this tree so you can see huge leaves, beautiful. Let's get a few more here. All right. So really nice. Let's see if we can get a few more from this tree. I think that's nice. Now we're going to maybe just get a few last ones from our other tree. We have a really nice tree that's growing here. We had done quite a lot of harvest from this tree last time and it provides very good shade as well. Um, we might just take very few from this because we had done quite heavy harvest on this last time. So we have our cassava, 
what we're going to do next is get some lime leaves which my wife also uses so we have a lime tree here uh, which unfortunately got struck by diseases last several years in fact we have been battling to get rid of um, several different lime diseases on here and uh, it's been uh, quite a challenge um, i think we managed to kill off the diseases several times but it keeps coming back and we have some new leaves coming up i don't know if you can see so we're finally getting some healthy leaves on this tree again but it's hard because this disease keeps coming back and we keep losing leaves from this tree um, and hardly any lime leaves left <laughs> However, what we have done is we have taken a cutting. Fairly young, extremely young, it's a baby, but I think we just need to get a few leaves for cooking. And I think it will work. So let's put these on the side. So for the lemongrass, my wife uses the stalk at the very bottom and what we can do is we can replant the roots again and believe it or not, it will grow the lemongrass again. So we take the very bottom root and we're going to plant it back and uh, she can use the bottom of the stalk and what we use for our tea is the leaves at the very top so every part of lemongrass is so useful it's such an amazing plant and it just keeps on growing like grass but i definitely have to do a video on this it's so popular and so amazing let's get another lemongrass We're going to use the stalk, as I mentioned, and the leaves, but the root can go back in with the children. So there you it. Here we go. Just snapped it off, put it back in the ground so that we can get more lemongrass from Andy's roots. It does take a little bit of time to grow back, but it's the easiest way to have unlimited lemongrass and this is ready to go so we'll put this aside for washing as well so my wife uses quite a bit of turmeric for Indonesian cooking as well so we use the roots for Indian and Indonesian cooking uh, but the leaves are also used for Indonesian cooking so we have amazing turmeric leaves here we have so many of these plants um, soon once they dry out I'll harvest the roots themselves but for today we're just going to grab a couple of these leaves, right? So maybe just take one big leaf, that should be more than enough. And this is easy with the hand. Beautiful leaf, ready to go. So what we're going to do is just wash all our harvest. We have lemongrass, some lime leaves, turmeric leaf and a bunch of cassava leaves that we're going to wash now. all clean here's our bouquet beautiful bouquet of cassava leaves <laughs> ready for the cooking so we're going to store it in the bucket for my wife to cook 
and get the remains of the leaves. So I think we're done with the harvest today guys. Thanks for tuning in and hope you like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed the video today. And um, I will see you guys next time. I'm going to go get this ready for my wife to prepare some tasty Indonesian dishes. And we'll, we'll definitely share the pictures of the dishes as well. Thanks a lot guys. See you next time. Bye.